So today we have something interesting. Now we'll be playing to the Pavlo VR. So what about this game is that it's actual name that it's actually it's gonna come out on the quest store normally. It's gonna be called Pavlo Shack. Now we'll be playing the side quest one because uh, the developers kind of like delayed the game because it was like not ready for their i guess expectations uh but n now the game should be running pretty normal and it it's gonna be pretty much i think really similar how it will release on the quest store pavlov originally is on the pc vr pretty much it's kind of like Counter Strike, but if you anyone played like uh, I guess G mod or whatever, it's kind of like you know. Now I'm kind of slowly getting into ha Half Life universe and just like Valve in general. Um, I feel like Pavlov is kind of like a CS in VR, but more with a G mod twist. So it's kind of like there are there is a community around Pavlov that creates their certain custom levels, just like, you know, story modes, it's kind of like, you know, modifications, just like Steam mod support, I don't know. I'm I'm really, like, not experienced in that uh, section. Uh, so we're, there is Pavlov, like now, currently available on the PC VR. The Quest version will get Pavlov Shack, which is kind of like, I guess it will be, uh, like, a lesser version of the original, but still playable enough to get a full experience, kinda. Um, it's gonna be free, that's very important, because currently the most popular game we have on Quest for free, as in multiplayer, because inherently it's just multiplayer based, Pavlov Shack is gonna be the next king of uh, I feel like pretty much whole store because you know uh, people <laughs> will get more interested in games that are free and then kind of like you have like micro transactions or whatever especially for the platform that's it's starting out as a quest headset right and I know that Counter Strike and just like you know shooter multiplayer shooters in general have huge huge communities around it and I. I know that Pavlov Shack is gonna be a huge title overall on Quest once it releases officially on the Quest Store, not like through side quest, side loading or whatever. Uh, yeah, I've never been a fan of Counter Strike and this type of thing. I mean, I feel like now the gears are changing currently with my game taste, uh, taste because uh, uh, <laughs> I get. I way better excel at uh, shooter games in VR, not on Pancake. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I f I hope it uh, will work uh, properly. I followed the guide, I think, on the Reddit, and I ac I actually checked out the Discord official of Pavlov. So we'll see. I know that I think tutorial works, and I'm mainly trying uh, trying to see how the multiplayer actually works because i've never played pavlov i've heard a lot about about it so you know how why not <coughs> okay okay so settings uh, tutorial left eye rendering obb locomotion i have no idea what's that prospecting i'm um, kill fit Visual stock auto on grip, smooth turn. Uh, I don't know how to. Oh, I can't edit it because I don't have a keyboard inside the game. Wait. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. So smooth turn rate, I guess, like as slow as possible, right? Because then you. Yeah, yeah, I think because from Half Life, I remember how it works. Uh, yeah, and it should be fine. Is it done? Okay. Wait. Artificial tool. No, 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 no. Just smooth tool. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so we'll try to go with tutorial first. 
I know how to play Counter Strike type of games, obviously. I just want to see how exactly it works. How radio? Hand near your ear and hold the trigger to activate the radio. To sprint, click in your movement joystick while pressing forward. Make sure to keep your weapon lowered. Okay. Open the buy menu. Click in the thumbstick with your dominant hand. Simple. Close okay. The buy menu. Keep your thumbstick centered and press it. Okay. To open the main menu, press the menu button with your non-dominant hand. Okay. To close the main menu, proceed yeah. through the open doors to continue. But wait, I thought I can like turn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I uh, turn off the artificial turn. I think like that was what it. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's way too low. So I just fucked up. So let's do the 180. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Fuck. I fucked up. <laughs> Proceed through the open doors to continue. Okay. <sighs> Place your dominant hand over the weapon on your hip and press grip to equip your secondary. Place your offhand over your ammo pouch on your hip and hold trigger to grab a magazine. Oh, manual reloading. Grab a magazine from your hip ammo bag. Wait, 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 wait. Here. Wait, just here. Get a magazine from your hip ammo bag. Yeah, sure. Hmm, weird. Oh, with a trigger, not with a grab thing. Place okay. Magazine into the Weird. Weapon. Place your offhand over your ammo <laughs> pouch on your hip and hold trigger. Place the magazine into the weapon. I. Oh, here. Oh, okay. Grip the charging handle with your offhand using trigger and grip the weapon with your offhand to stabilize it. Okay. That's the first game that I have like manual reloading, you know? Shoot all the targets to continue. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's no aim. Like, I don't know where I'm aiming. I feel like I need to, like, look. Yeah, I need to look at the... Okay, it's gonna be interesting. Because I can't, like, shoot, like, from the side. I have no idea where I'm aiming. I need to, like, actually aim how in real life you you would. Move your magazine by placing your hand over it and pressing trigger. Place your offhand. Grab okay. the charging handle with shoot all the targets to continue. Wait, am I Okay. Yeah. I'm not like a very experienced shooter, but charging handle grip the weapon with Shoot all the targets to continue. For me, that's a very new thing. The only no thing I know, I need to like line up this thingy on the beginning and on the end, and then it will actually like shoot. It will actually uh, be a proper target. Okay. Place your dominant hand over your shoulder and press grip to grab your primary. Where is it? Oh, on my. Place your off hand over okay. your ammo pouch on your hip and hold trigger to grab a magazine. Place the magazine and grab the charging handle with your off. Grip the weapon with your off hand to stabilize it. But that, you know, can I like shoot with my one hand? Oh, because it's higher recoil probably, right? Yeah, and like here. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it's gonna be way more chaotic, like, you just in one hand, because the recoil is insane. Press B to release the magazine. Oh, so with primary I don't release it, like, just that? Okay. Place your offhand over your hand. Grip the weapon with your offhand to stabilize. Shoot all the targets okay. to continue. Okay. 
press B to drop your magazine. Place the magazine. That's very fun. Like continue. the whole reloading. Like I love it. Even though I'm not like a huge shooter player, I love the interaction. Release grip to drop your weapon. Okay. Proceed through the open doors to continue. I feel like I have an idea of the game. So we'll see if there's something extra. Hand, use grip to grab the grenade off of your vest. Place your hand over the grenade pin, hold the trigger and pull the pin. Press trigger to begin cooking the grenade. Uh press grip to release the grenade while throwing it. Whoa, that's like oh try not well. to kill yourself next time. Hey! <laughs> okay, so like like with your dominant hand, use grip to like that, 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 and that. Grip to the while it. I didn't even know that there are like. Hand over the grenade pin. Hold the trigger and pull the pin. Wait again. Press trigger to begin cooking the grenade. Press grip to release the grenade while throwing it. I didn't know you had like three stages Press of the grenade. The grenade pin. Hold the trigger and pull the pin. Because I know about like just grabbing grenade, pulling, and just throwing. But there's actually like other. Okay. But what should I destroy? Oh shit! There is this guy. It's my bad. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. No no no. Press trigger to begin cooking. Place your hand over the grenade. Press grip to release the grenade while throwing it. Shit. Wait. Place your hand over the grenade. Okay, fuck off. For bomb training. Thank you. Bomb training? Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, bomb, oh, what the? the digits that are displayed in the top left corner using your hand. Use your finger to enter the digits displayed in the top left. Seven. Oh my god, even manual setting up the bomb? To plant the bomb, place it on a highlighted plant site. To defuse the bomb, enter the code displayed in the top left corner. Or oh my... a pair of clippers from the buy menu and clip the wires. That's crazy. Wait. Wait, I... Whoa. It's you now need to two that. times Press grip on the door handle to head back to the shooting range and work on your aim. Holy shit. <sighs> okay. I mean, should I? Like I don't really need to be honest. I can I think go inside the game already. Holy fuck. There are so many weapons. I love this one though. I know probably. Seems like every weapon has its own like unique I guess reloading system. Jesus Christ. Oh this one is my weapon. Wait what? <laughs> okay, so now reloading I know. Okay, here. Are you kidding me? You need to like, how many times reload? Okay, this game is epic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like we are ready for the multiplayer. I don't know. I just want to kind of like jump. Well, something's happening, like I s <gasps> We're actually going. Oh shit.
How the fuck did I do that? Oh shit. <laughs> Ah, dann. <laughs> okay, well that was interesting. Uh let's do that again. I don't know. Like <laughs> they just I just jumped pretty much straight into the game. <laughs> But damn, yeah, it's really resembling of Counter Strike, like straight up for me. Mm. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Let me maybe switch the game mode, what the hell was that? So, I don't know what's TT, I, I mean deathmatch I feel like it's gonna be fine, Jesus. <laughs> it's so silent, like there's no music, there's no nothing, it's kinda like weird for me, but like it's helpful in the shooter games obviously because you can hear the footsteps, that's the point. Whoa. What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. What the? <laughs> oh, at least I'm not last. <laughs> Jesus. Let me search something. I don't know, maybe like zombies. It seems like. Single, I'm mean, not single, but like multiplayer, but like with AI. <sighs> I know I suck, like, <laughs> that's pretty much why I've never played Counter Strike because I know I'm the, the worst. Oh shit.
Ska jag den? I think that's gonna be enough for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm the worst. Literally the fucking worst. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna... It would be... You know, I guess it comes with a practice, you know. I'm a fucking retard in shooter... Counter-Strike type of games. Uh, I feel like it's a matter of finding your own... Like, favorite weapon. Practicing that and just like, you know... I guess playing more in general, but that goes for every game ever, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like everything works fine. I'm a little bit confused about, about lack of music, but I feel like maybe it actually helps. Uh, you know, I'm like, truth to be told, competitively, I don't feel like I'm gonna play it like a lot. I feel like more for fun rather than competitively, but like, of course I can see this game the best, uh, um, the most popular multiplayer when it will come actually on the store ever. Because it's the perfect game for VR, for Quest now, pretty much. Like there is no, just like, no nothing, like that's obvious. Uh, yeah, but it's currently in uh, side quest. It's like not hard at all to set it up. So if people want to play it earlier, just go on side quest and go follow the instructions there. Uh, yeah, I f but I really like the, I guess, immersion that brings the reloading system. I feel like that's really a big leap uh, for VR shooter because it's n it doesn't feel like ar I guess arcade-ish. I mean, maybe a little bit, but that's how I perceive whole shooter Counter-Strike genre, right? For me, it's an arcade kind of style of gameplay. Uh, yeah, hell, I feel like I did not check out much, uh, but I kind of like knew what the premise will be and I feel like it's ready to go um, on the store. I feel like it's a matter of time at this point. Uh, but I'm curious how it will go, you know? How the game will evolve even further, because it's gonna be a flagship title, <laughs> nevertheless. Because if the game comes up for free, it's bound to have huge uh, player base. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I feel like I don't have much else to say about it, but great multiplayer VR shooter. Let's see how the release will go. 